Hello and welcome back to In The Garage. I'm Steven Fillers. Today we have a really cool product from Retrax. And let me show you, we uh, this actually comes in two boxes. So you have the cover itself in the larger box and the rails themselves in the smaller box on the top here. So as you can see, the packaging is really nice and sturdy. It's gonna get to you in one piece and everything's gonna be as it should be. Uh, let's take a look at it outside of the box and see what comes in the packaging. All right, so as you can see, we have the cover and its various components unboxed and on the table here. So let's kind of take a look at each, uh, each piece that comes with it and give you a better idea of what you can expect from the packaging. So up front, we have the front cover for the canister, and then we have the two side rails. Let me move these around so you can kind of get a better idea of what we're looking at here. So there's one for the passenger and for the driver's side, of course. So that's going to be included. Uh, we also have the cover itself. So as you can see, if you take a look over here, uh, they designed this in a spiral shape. So basically that's going to allow your cover to retract and not scratch itself on retraction. So it's going to keep it nice and safe and secure, but also keep it protected from those scratches that you can expect from other covers throughout the years. So it's going to keep you protected from that. Uh, the, th the things that come in the packaging as well, so we have the owner's manual, and this is kind of like your instruction booklet. Take a look at this before you do your installation so you get a better idea of what you can expect from the install and the tools you're going to need. We also have a drain tube kit here. And the drain, uh, drain tube kit actually protects your uh, canister from water. So this will help drain that water that comes in from rainy environments, things like that, right from your canister. So you don't have to worry about the water sitting in your canister and causing any damage that way. All right, so it also comes with some Allen wrenches and some mounting screws. And those mounting screws are gonna help keep on the front cover for the canister and also the canister to the rails. So it's gonna keep those nice and secure. And we also have the clamps themselves, of course. That's gonna keep your rails in place and secure. And these also, before we get to the tools you're going to need, we also have keys that come with this cover. So the interesting thing about this cover is that you can lock the retraction at any point on the rails. So if you want to have your cover locked midway for whatever reason, you can do that with these keys. Full uh, retraction you can, doesn't matter. You can lock these at any point on the rail with these keys. Now as for the tools you're going to need for the job, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to need some 9 16 wrenches, socket wrenches, whatever the case may be, just 9 16 That's our application at least. In some cases you may have to do a half inch. It really just depends on your application. Ours was a 9 16 And then a set of vice grips. So with all these tools, you can really make this happen pretty easy. It's a no drill installation, so it's going to go in pretty easy and uh, pretty functionally too. So let's take a look at it. Let's put it on the bed and see how it's going to look for us. All right guys, so for this installation, we have a Ram 1500 on deck. It's a Bighorn edition. Let's get this thing installed and show you how it's gonna look. All right, so now that we have the side rails assembled to the canister as well as the front cover assembled to the canister, we can look at getting this laid on top of the bed now. One thing I do want to mention though is, guys, this is probably a two-man job, so get yourself a separate set of hands if you can to help you do this installation, especially when you lay it onto the bed. It's just going to make things a whole lot easier, so take that into consideration. Other than that though, everything's pretty much assembled and ready to go on the bed. We'll get this up there and then put some brackets on to keep the rails in place, but uh, we'll show you how that looks in a second. All right, so one of the cool things that Retrax has done here, they've provided us with an eighth of an inch gauge here. And what that allows us to do, that allows us to measure perfectly 
where the bed rail needs to be sitting and where the cover needs to be adjusted to, to make this fit perfectly. So that's an eighth of an inch. So we're gonna fit that into place between the tailgate and the, the rail. And that just allows us to know that we're a little bit close to the rest of the, uh, the cab. So we're gonna pull it back, get it perfect in place, as you can see, slide it out. Do the same for the other side, and you're gonna know that this is gonna be fitting perfectly.